morning everybody i can't believe i'm saying this but for the first time this year it feels like autumn it's got that really fresh feel it's a little drizzly it's gray and it just feels super cozy you know when it just feels different but this morning i i'm up and ready i've worked out and i'm actually off to westfield to the therapy clinic to go and get a treatment i'll talk about it in the car but i'm very excited it was like a very last minute thing i decided to do i booked this like two days ago so i am excited i'm intrigued but if you're new here hi my name's emily i share my life on youtube so if that is your kind of thing it would be amazing if you would subscribe and if you're not new here a thumbs up goes a long way you know what i'm gonna say i'm ever so grateful for you taking the time to give these videos a like i will say i have not been loving like the vlogs i've posted in the last couple weeks i have been in such a rut in like not a rut rut's the wrong word i oh my voice i feel like i just i'm in this really weird phase of my life where everything's a bit samey and it's boring for me but oh my goodness it must be boring to watch i know so many of you have messaged me and been like no like it's fine but it's not fine it's very samey and i maybe it's just because we're coming to the end of the summer season and i'm ready for like a change up of season i don't know but whatever it is i'm ready to change things up a little bit and there is lots of things coming in like my life that i'm sharing which is going to be very exciting i just can't make them come quicker if that makes sense so for now i'm kind of just like you know but it's fine anyway we need to zip off to westfield i also need to go to mns and get some almond butter because i want to make some more of those cookies that i really like and just have a whole fun day but just so much fun so would you like me to fill you in on what i'm getting done so i'm heading to westfield right now because i've booked in to get m sculpt now to get this treatment you have to have i think it's six treatments I think they recommend six. I have four in my head, I don't know why. But anyway, it's multiple and you have to get them like a certain distance apart. So I actually am in town for the next like week and a half and I thought, ooh, let's do it. I'm getting it on my bum. So I'm really interested and it's non-invasive, like nothing like that. But essentially what it is, it's as if you've done like, I don't know how many it equates to. I'm sure there's some number, but it's as if you've done like an insane workout at the gym or like this many squats or whatever. And I do not work out my glutes at all. Like zilch at all. So I thought this would be really fun to see if it works. And I mean, I'm intrigued. And if it does work, then I may have a bit of a bum, which would be really exciting. I did try M Sculpt years ago, but I only did one treatment. So obviously it, it didn't do anything, but that was in my era of never being in the country. So yeah, I'm excited. I don't know. Like I don't remember how long it takes i have to have a whole consultation and everything first because this is session one but i did film some like before videos and i think i'm gonna film like a little clip every time i go so make sure you follow along on the vlogs because maybe by next week i'll be done i don't know it depends what days i vlog but i'm excited guys i've never had a bum in my life how exciting would that be <laughs> although i'm probably doing it at the wrong time doing it at the end of summer but oh well i always automatically go and park by the Tesla superchargers, but I actually don't need to because I don't need to charge today. So let's park somewhere else so we don't have to contend with that lift. Oh, there's loads of spots. Perfect. Oh, I can literally park right outside the lift. <laughs> Dreamy. This is me. This is the lift lobby. <laughs> How great is that spot? Well, I girl bossed a bit too close to the sun and I've arrived before anything has opened and there is nobody here so i'm hoping and it does look like it mns is open i'm going to go and grab the bits that i need from the food hall first then we'll run to therapy clinic i don't actually know where it is in here i need to have a look but i don't need to do a proper food shop this week because i have hello fresh which is very convenient but i need that almond butter so i can make those cookies They did that oh my goodness wow i'm so glad that caught my eye i almost forgot i ran out of coffee beans i really like these ones but i kind of want something a bit you know <laughs> a bit more what do we have here bittersweet and exotic no i don't like anything like orangey here we go 
Dark chocolate almond, yes, that's the vibe. This brown coffee, I need the beans. Maybe they don't do those as beans. Hmm, okay, I think these are the ground. I need one of these, so I guess, oh, there we go. Number five, Peruvian coffee. I'm going to try these. I've just grabbed some snacky things as well because my dad's coming this weekend and I don't think I'll have time to get to a grocery store before he comes. So I just thought I'd grab them now. All of this MS like laundry and cleaning section, all these things are so pretty. I remember when they released them, they had a ton of discounts on their Sparks app. I ne I've never tried any of them, but I just think they look so pretty. I just, I love the ribbing. I know it's like, it's so simple, but I feel like it does so much. Okay, this is what I need, 100% dark chocolate. This is for my cookies. Mine almost gone. I'm gonna tell you, I get through these like they're water. Ooh, these are new. They're giving candy kittens, look. Wow. Not my thing, but. Very cool. If you've never tried, you have to try. I don't like the bourbons, but the custard creams, insane. <laughs> These are new. She's a mom like sandwiches, that's so cute. It's the weirdest feeling. It's like you're not controlling your muscles but they're contracting it's so strange it's not uncomfortable but it's like making my legs move without me moving them it's really odd I and mean, it's kind of relaxing actually but I said she just lay here for 30 minutes Well, that was relaxing. Someone saying to you, yeah, can you just lay here on your front for half an hour and just sit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course I can. So I don't know like how many sessions it's going to take to see a difference. Obviously, I'm not going to see anything after one. I did look. Yeah, it was fine and super relaxing. But you know what I was thinking about on the way here? I was really deeping the fact of how lucky I feel to have a car in London because I lived in London on and off since I was 17 years old and I didn't learn to drive until I was 19 and then I didn't have did I have my car I didn't have my car in London no I didn't and did I even have a car that yeah I did have a car yeah I, wow, is that so crazy how I had a car and I didn't have it anywhere near me? I guess I went home to mum and dad quite frequently though. Did it just stay at their house? That's crazy. Anyway, I feel really lucky to have a car in London because even like grocery shopping, it makes it so much easier. I love public transport. I love the tube. I think it's the most efficient method of transport and I will take the tube over driving if I'm going into London or anything like that. But local things where I'm just going to like the grocery store and things like that, having a car just makes so much difference so yeah i was just thinking about that and how lucky i feel but let's go home it's hot chalk weather well it felt like it i don't know if it's still going to feel like it because i haven't been outside because i've been in a shopping center but it certainly feels it look what was waiting for me when i got home shall we unbox I am very excited because as always when it comes to HelloFresh, I can never remember what I've ordered for which week. So I obviously know what I ordered, but I don't know what's coming this week. <laughs> I kind of love the surprise. Okay. Okay, yes, 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 I know. So if HelloFresh is new to you, basically everything is delivered to your door in this box. It's all pre-portioned and then you have your recipes. So this week I got the goat's cheese and carrot... <laughs> I can't talk. The goat's cheese and caramelized onion nonzina. I've had this before. It's like a kind of flatbread pizza. Really good. Quick and easy. I actually will probably make that one for a lunch, maybe even today. I also got, actually I'm going to show you this last because this is the most exciting. I ordered, oh no, this is just as exciting actually. I got the cheesy meatball parmigiana. How good does that look? I am such a, like a, an Italian cuisine fan. And then finally, I got the Japanese style feast. So there's teriyaki salmon, miso glazed chicken, sweet chili, there's gyoza and cucumber, smack cucumber and then rice. I thought this looked so good. This is from their takeaway feast. So it's that kind of vibe, but those are my meals for the week. In fact, I think we will make this for lunch. But if you are curious, this is how everything comes. 
So there's a number on each bag which correlates to the recipe and you can literally just sit them in the fridge like this, which is so easy. But they're great, especially if you're tight for time. I mean, it's back to school. So these for dinners or even for kind of pre-prepping lunches are so handy. I'll put a QR code on screen right now and also I'll put a link down below so you can go and click and have a little look. In fact, if you do go and click that link, you can click through to the menus and see what they have coming up in the next few weeks. I will say, Things like this just tickle my fancy so much. I find them so exciting. And I could have picked a few more like really, really fun ones like this for my meals this week. But I just find things like this goat's cheese one. We'll make this now. It's super quick. I find these invaluable because it's just, it's 20 minutes. It's so fast. <laughs> goat's cheese and caramelized onion narniza. I'm pretty sure I probably pronounced that wrong earlier. Anyway, there's a little side salad and we have tomorrow's and today's. How good does that look? Let's give it a try. I don't know if you know this about me, but I actually adore goat's cheese. It's one of my favorite things. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good, and it literally took 20 minutes. But like I said before lunch, I will put the QR code on screen if you do want to try out HelloFresh. Like I said, it's 60% and then 25% off for the next two months and free desserts for life. If you do, please send me photos on Instagram DMs because I would love to see your meals. And I always find it very exciting in case we've like ordered the same things. Okay, let's get on with the afternoon. You guys, why does it feel like full on autumn? It's giving me make a cup of tea, go to home sense vibes, but I have just finished up my afternoon of work and I feel like my cup is so full. I have spent most of my afternoon on calls and I just feel so great. My cup is so, so full. I also don't feel anything right now from the M sculpt. She did say I won't feel anything and she was like, don't expect this. Oh, she gave me a number, but I didn't note it down of how many it was equivalent to. Let me, let me Google. M sculpt bum squats here we go okay 130 minute treatment is the equivalent of 20,000 squats but she was saying it won't feel like that because what it does it like vibrates and then it does this like hitting motion like this almost like you know when you go and you do like pilates or bar and you have that like contraction the shaking and then like you like hit it out so like it disperses the lactic acid i, I think that's what happens uh that's like what it was doing so yeah I mean, I don't really feel anything right now, but I'm booking my next sessions in over the next couple of days. And she said leave three days between. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's feeling so insanely autumnal right now. I'm gonna make myself a peppermint tea. I mean, what I really want is some green juice, but it's feeling like I need something a little cozier. And I'm also watching Holly, love her vlogs. If you're looking for a vlogger to watch, she's great. Also let me know in the comments, who do you watch on YouTube? Because I need recommendations. I flick between people, but what I look for in a YouTube channel, I just want to, I want someone's life. I want like daily life. So let me know. Hello, it's been a couple of days, but I thought I would update you on the M sculpt. And also I am having an evening where I just need to sort and clear up and clear out and you know how it is like this is annoying me in the top of my wardrobe it was inside my keypool but my keypool was in use so now it just is like sat there and i need to clear it out anyway i have this face mask on right now it's a hydrogel mask and i don't actually know if it's doing much but yeah i thought i would update you on the m sculpt as well i just feel like these evenings are my favorite things to vlog i just love sorting and doing bits with you so it felt weird to not vlog it hmm i appear to have lost a hair mask we're going to use this three more inches by michael van clark so yeah we're one session down and it's been a few days and it didn't like i had no pain which i was kind of expecting to feel something i don't know if any Anyone's had the treatment before, let me know. But 
yeah, I mean, obviously, well, I don't know if it is obvious. It doesn't look any different still. And when I'm working out, I mean, I said I never work out my glutes. At the end of my workouts, I do maybe like a five minute resistance band workout. So it's really not that crazy, but that hasn't been any more uncomfortable than usual or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just really intrigued to see what treatment two is going to look like really and what it's going to do. But it's been a really lovely day today. It's been super warm. We, we've got summer back, <laughs> but I decided I would do one of those evenings where I just like reset and sort. I'm going to do a hair mask and then I've decided I'm going to get my silk pillowcases back out because that's something that I used to have and do for my hair and for my skin. And I feel like I should try it. It might help, but I'm just going to put this in a maybe a braid. I feel like it's probably the most comfortable to sleep in. Oh, well, if I have a funny shaped head for the rest of this vlog, you're just going to have to ignore it because it's for a good cause. I was going to say I've lost all of my hair bubbles, but they're right here. You guys, I got a new loungewear set and it is the softest thing. It's a brand called Ethos. I'm not sure if you've heard of them. I'll obviously link it so you can go and have a nosy, but it's like that perfect neutral creamy color where it's not white but it's not at all yellow i, I don't like it. oh my goodness i'm going to have to do something about this hair my head looks square i have to fix that but yeah i don't like the like beigey creamy color where everything looks like yellow tinged so this is perfect i don't want to mess the hair up even though i have to change it anyway oh wow i completely messed it up but yeah, I just thought this was really cute and really simple. Although I'm like not looking forward to the weather changing, I will say I'm kind of loving the slightly more autumnal vibes in terms of it being like cute and cozy. And I'm excited to be able to wear things like this again without sweating. I actually don't think I own any loungewear sets like this. I had a really nice, well, I had two really nice Adenola jumpers, one of which Sophie stole. The other one's still in there. And then, but I don't have any joggers. And then I used to have a really nice Anina Bing jumper, but that got taken in a hotel room in the US ages ago. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I just don't have one. So this is my item that I was lacking in my wardrobe. In fact, I'm going to put this in a bun until I sleep. I actually don't need to do it up because I like to wear them low waist, but it does have a drawstring as well, which actually tightens. So I can wear these high waisted if I want to. The first thing I do has to be this freaking bag. But to sort the bag, I have to empty the, I've been doing some really random tasks recently. I've basically been here, there and everywhere. So I've got bags full of like half full of things, which is fine, but like, you know, a bit inconvenient. Like why is my card holder in here? My passports, like that's, uh, that's dangerous. I have to put that where they belong. But I, again, super random. I got, well, they got, these shoes got submerged in water and they, got put in the washer and it didn't wash. So then I put them in the washer again on literally the highest setting, like hygiene steam. I don't smell like ocean water anymore, uh, but they shrank. So they've been sat here for the last couple of days, stuffed with socks and with a, what's it called? An, an insole, like a really thick insole that's a size too big in the hopes that it would stretch them out. Has it? I think a little. Yeah, I think it has actually. Okay, cool. Well, the job I also need to do is put the shoelaces back in these. I think they're here. I love these shoes. I got these earlier in the year, like literally, maybe January? Was it end of last year? Mm, I don't recall. No, I think I got them when it, like just before I went to Japan. So like February, but I've worn these to death and I think I would actually buy another pair if, you know, sometimes you wash shoes and they just never feel the same. Like if these start giving me blisters or whatever, I will probably repurchase because I love them. But my white sambas, I genuinely couldn't care less about. They give me the worst blisters. I don't know why. They're literally the same shoe, but yeah, favorite shoes ever. Like, look at this. This is my, I've worn it once, but I don't want to hang it back up. So I'll probably wear it again super soon, but I don't want to hang it back up, but it's not clean. And you know, it's uh, it's the chair. 
it's it's the chair so i actually think i'm just going to put everything off here in the wash to be honest and then we can start again even though most of this has literally been worn once but i can't put it back in the drawers i'm also going to put a wash on of my bathrobes and my towels that i've been using it's really when i say it's one of those evenings like it's really one of those evenings i want to wake up tomorrow with a completely like fresh start blank canvas i'd like everything to be where it's supposed to be i want to sort my skincare drawer my makeup drawer i'm gonna grab some like anti-back and clean all of that down you know when you're just everywhere and then suddenly everything just looks like an absolute state and you can't find a single thing i couldn't find a hair bubble well I'm, I'm sure I could find a type of hair bobble, but I couldn't find the hair bobble that I was looking for, okay? And, and it's at that point that I'm like, yeah, that's just not okay. So, wash, and then we sort. Honestly, the kitchen's fine. It It's mainly the dressing room. So, this is what the drawer's looking like. I basically need to clean it clear everything up but then i would like to have a section like everything section but also a section for the to use up section so things that because i have two of these but one of them's pre-used the other one's not i want to make sure i'm not opening new things before i'm you know using the current ones so i think firstly i'll just take everything out Wow, how much better is that? So any duplicates have been removed. I've got eye things, face masks, then I've just got products, sprays, moisturizers, serums, things to use up. And then I've got lip masks, my eye serum, lip balms to like grab and go, my hand sani that I put on every time, like before I touch my face. I've got SPF down here, deodorant, probably will and then uh, just other facial bits. Um, yeah, so much better. So this is the makeup drawer. Honestly, it's not that bad. Everything just needs a good wipe down. And other than that, most things are pretty much in their place. Look at that, everything looks so much better. It's all been cleaned. And then I have taken my makeup brushes to wash them. So I just have to pop those back in. I've also had a little rearrange. Got my eyebrow products back there, lip liners are there now, and then all the primers and priming sprays are in one, and it's it's working. My world is feeling so much more balanced. I just put my pajamas on, and I'm going to put a bedtime perfume on. This is so unnecessary, but I love doing it. I'm going to do Odwell from Diptyque. It just, I, I love going to bed feeling all clean and fresh and smelling good, so yeah. I need to go take some bits downstairs, but other than that, the room is done. I cleared my shoes, which was really, really good. And just, you know when things just need like shuffling around? I've definitely done that. It's not time yet for me to complete like season switch up. I mean, I don't think so, but I laced up my Sambas. They actually feel fine. I didn't know if they were going to feel a bit weird, but I think think i've gotten away with it i'm so confused where the sudden gaps have come from because i mean i guess i have a pair downstairs my new balance that were there i, I don't know why there's like random gaps i swear there was never gaps anyway i feel like it's almost time to switch these around so my uggs are lower also i don't know if you follow me on instagram but i i don't know if you've seen crocs have released like fluffy crocs now they are slippers and the sole looks like you actually can wear it out of the house which is why I love Uggs because I can like Ugg slippers because I can actually wear them out of the house they it's like they get demoted to outdoor use although that, that just looks dirty I need to clean that both of these outdoor Uggs now and then I have my actual like indoor Ugg slippers but we are definitely nearing the time of getting the Uggs out so I might do a little like switcheroo because Mm, what am I not going to wear? I mean, maybe, maybe I switch out the espadrilles and the ballet flats and the sandals because that feels like a sensible swap. Even bags, I could put my little colourful nano speedies away because I'm not going to wear a bright pink bag in autumn. Am I? Probably no. This guy though, can you see? My 
little nano speedy in the monogram that is coming out to play for sure or well, maybe it's this shelf that gets moved around but then i can't really see them can i it should be one of these maybe i could swap the front row out uh because i mean these i will wear in the autumn i won't wear any of these in the autumn i'll wear these so maybe i don't know let me know which shelf should i switch out the top shelf or the bottom shelf i feel like they're pretty interchangeable but this is the trainer shelf which actually is looking pretty fine i mean obviously i have my new balance then i have my oh that's what it is it's because i have my white sambas that i washed i actually didn't show you but this bit and like this bit on the white ones is now green because I put them in the wash with the green shoes. I assumed because the shoes had already been through the wash once that they wouldn't leak or, you know, it wouldn't stain anything else, but um, I was wrong. So I now have a custom pair of Sambas that nobody else has, but like as in like this bit here and this bit is also tinged green. But you know what? Tell Avi, it's fine. At what point do you think it's acceptable to switch summer things out for autumn? My, can you see the Brandy Melville shirt over there? This has a pair of matching shorts with it. And I feel like my, on my linen pieces there as well, I will probably switch out just so it doesn't feel like it's cluttering my wardrobe. And I like to feel like I can just grab something and it be appropriate. Do you know what I mean? So maybe we'll give it a couple more weeks, but yeah, these drawers and I mean, look at this. I've cleared my perfume collection out majorly all of this. I feel like this still needs a bit of a reset. It just looks a bit messy. I mean, to be fair, these were all sprawled over here, so it does look a lot better. And then this drawer is uh, shorts, which I'm gonna be completely, oh, random stuff. I'm gonna be completely honest. I've not actually worn many of these this summer. So I'm like, will I? But obviously there's no point passing them on. But yeah, maybe I'll switch out the lower one because this is my scarf. Sure. Maybe I'll hang those. I feel like if I get rid of my summer pieces from here, I could hang the scarves. And I'm far more likely to just grab if I... Can, but then I can see them fine in here, can't I? It's just like, will I ever think about going in this drawer and grabbing out a scarf? That's the question. But, oh, I need to... I wonder how I can, like, resurrect this. This is a Burberry scarf. It's literally gorgeous, but it's so bobbly. I don't know if my bobble remover will do this. Let me know if you have any suggestions. But yeah, I feel like my scarf collection, this is very niche, but I actually love it. This is acne, this is acne. Uh, this is mulberry, mulberry, this is Burberry. And yeah, I feel like I never need to buy another scarf ever again. If I do, tell me off. And then on the same kind of front of like figuring out when it's appropriate to swap things around, I think what I'll do is put all of my summer dresses in the like the far side and then put my wintry dresses in this side just because i like the idea that i can access them and see them and know what i have to wear right now this is probably the messiest it's ever been so i have new in things i want to wear here because my new in rails in use these are all my bar rotation pieces that i haven't actually put on yet i've been saying for like two and a half months that i'm going to do that and it's still not been done so i will get around to it and then these are just like my other dresses that mainly they're summery so I actually, you know, I, I don't, I don't think I'll put them away away, but I think I'll just put them all in one side and then this will be emptier so I can actually see what I've got in here. And that will be all like autumn winter dresses. Although I did see an Abercrombie the other day. They had this gorgeous uh, black dress that I really want to order. I just feel like I can't right now until I can see what I have right in front of me and what I'm lacking and what I need, then I shouldn't. But I definitely know I would like a new black dress because this Kate one, I wore this the other night. I love it. I just don't feel that great in it. And I just don't think it's for me right now. It's going to be on my bar rotation. So it will get some love from someone, but not me. So what I'm on the hunt for is like a classic black, tight dress, bodycon dress. And I do keep thinking about the Abercrombie one. I've been looking everywhere, Revolve, Netta Porter, and I just, I, I don't, like I ordered one from Netta Porter and it was this horrible crepe material. So that went straight back. So if you have any recs, let me know, but I'll put the Abercrombie one in the description box and you can go and have a look. It's like that top, I'll show you. You know, I got the top in the Abercrombie haul that is just literally the nicest thing ever, this. It's basically a dress version of this. And I mean, obviously it's more of like a jersey material, but it's double lined and it's so thick and the shape's so nice that I feel like it can't, like you can't go wrong getting a dress like that. I, what I need to do really is go into store and have a try on 
but will they have my size? I want to try the tall one. I just don't want to do the return, you know? So I will definitely try and store first though. There's a couple things I want to try in H&M as well. So yeah, I definitely feel like I need to do a store visit. Oh my goodness. I have just seen the biggest spider. Literally huge. I am not afraid of spiders. This spider made me jump. I will put a picture on the screen. I don't know if you can really see how big it is. I've only had ever one really scary interaction with a spider. It was when I was about 10 years old. I woke up in the middle of the night, rolled over, and there was one on my wall, and my bed was right next to my wall. And it literally was the size of a hand. This one, not the size of a hand, but the size of a child's hand. This, this one, like a toddler which is still quite big uh it's disappeared as well which is not great uh but i think it's disappeared into a gap so i'm gonna try and plug the gap but i, I don't want to get near it <laughs> oh i mean honestly that just looks like somebody else's job right now i shall not be going near it oh my gosh there's another one in my bedroom yeah that's a problem is it the same one that is just not okay, honestly. <sighs> Doesn't look the same. I don't know. How do we deal with this? Oh well, my friends, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for holding me accountable in the second part of this vlog. And thank you for watching. I am so tired. It's literally 9 p.m. It's not even that late, but everything feels great. Ready for me to have a fresh start in the morning. I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, a thumbs up goes a long way and I will see you in the next one. Good night.